What's up guys? Uh, my name is David Preston and I am shooting this video purely to share with the rest of the world the information I have found on some very concerning uh, subjects like uh, psychokinesis and um, some aliens and some science obviously, you know, gotta have proof for the pudding. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm just gonna jump right on in. So. If you pick up your phone right now, or even while watching this video, and you go to google.com and you type into the search bar <clears throat> things like CIA manifestation, or CIA psychokinetic abilities, or CIA <clears throat> Project Stargate, you will get declassified documents of several things researched and studied by the CIA, supposedly, allegedly. <clears throat> Now, there is some, <clears throat> you know, quarrel over whether or not uh, these articles that the CIA released are factual information or not. <clears throat> However, given the state of why, why not, you know, why not research it, it sounds like fun, it seems like something they would at least look into, you know, with maybe a shred of, we don't know if we believe this, but, you know, Let's try it anyway, right? <clears throat> so I'm gonna try to keep this short and sweet. Um, but yeah, you'll find tons of declassified documents by the CIA that essentially explain how they have performed experiments on and with people, um, supposedly on doing things like remote viewing, which I'm sure many people have probably heard about, probably not everybody, but um, essentially that in and of itself, there is a technique that they developed specifically to try to locate targets for military application. Um, and they had supposedly a resounding amount of success with this. And uh, a lot of channels now that I've seen actually <clears throat> will go and attempt to recreate these experiments with re remote viewing because it's actually a pretty simple process. Uh, it just takes a little bit of doing and finagling, but I mean if you get there you get there <laughs> um, Along the same lines like as I've been researching all of this stuff uh, uh, a lot of what feeds you know into all of this is just the fact that I mean Really like me myself. I'm a guy of science like you know, I like to see oh hey, you know Can you prove whatever the hell you're talking about? um and, I mean, just in that same sense, like, it led me to researching, you know, physical world around me, you know, the universe around me, um, you know, what's happening, what, what even is this place, you know, that we all live in, you know, I live in, you know, around me. Like, what is this wall, bro? <laughs> like, I don't know. Um, but, um, looking through science itself, like, I mean, they get down, they scientists try to study things at the like smallest level and they crash into what they call <clears throat> quantum physics um, which is just the study of particles at you know an atomic level to understand their functions and effects on the rest of the universe and, you know creating our you know basic physics um, but on this uh, level of quantum physics uh, it's really just, hey, this atom does that to that atom, and that atom does that to this other atom, and this is how they all connect. And, you know, I know a lot of you guys know, like, <clears throat> Einstein talked a lot about this, Nikola Tesla talked a lot about this, they still do research, it, research on it today, and, you know, considering all of that, like, that they still research it, like, a large part of these quantum physics is that Every single atom out there is supposedly linked, you know, whether you're from a religious standpoint or, you know, a scientific standpoint like myself, um, you probably believe that the universe started somewhere, um, meaning like, hey, at one point, like something turned into everything, like nothing turned into everything, right? And through science, like they say, you know, crediting Einstein himself, 
um, connected all of these things together through string theory. And that really just ties in that like, hey, every atom is just connected to every other atom that exists. And with this, you know, considering this and how it affects my own life, like, it has brought me to some very concerning conclusions. And uh, as, so as I've like researched and looked into uh, all kinds of things, you know, relating towards oh, what, what does the science mean? You know, what does it mean for me to be connected with everything else? What does it mean for, you know, everything in the universe happens like for that reason, you know, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. And what I found for myself, at least, is that once I started looking into this, I started getting a whole lot of information about science and aliens. <laughs> and I know how pseudo and crazy that sounds, um, but I mean, if I hold on to a shred of realism when I'm looking at, oh, I'm just as connected with myself here as I am to every single person watching this video, whether it be none or a million, we kind of all just exist here. And <clears throat> because of that, like, we're all on the same plane. We're all in the same universe, made up of the same thing, same atoms that all start, that are all here. And thanks to uh, the efforts of scientists, people who go to school, almost half of if not more than their lives, they find that they can break this down into everything is kind of energy, you know? It's just what state is the energy in to create the atom it is that creates the solid object it is that we can perceive. And given that information, I started to look and see, okay, you're like, what? does this universe have, you know, in it that I want to see, at least. And <clears throat> what I've learned, like, because we all exist with the same energy, like, we actively, like, produce it, like, the same energy of our very natural surroundings. And, like, a lot of it has to do with energy at its purest form, you know, as you, as you exist, you create, essentially. Um, and uh, hopefully in some later videos, you know, I can give more proof and substance to that claim. Um, it, I'm starting off pretty early here, so it's hard for me to, you know, be putting up documents and stuff for you guys to read while I shoot this. But uh, at the basis, what I want you guys to understand for right now is that um, the chances that we all live inside a procedurally generated simulation that we create is of a very high likelihood. Um, and some people look at, try to, you know, think outside of this, say, hey, you know, maybe there is, you know, a religion or like some kind of God or something that actually like creates this for us. It's not really ourselves. But even if that were true like the science specifically about like the atoms and the energy and the way they interact with each other says that if that's true, it's true because we make it so. And that's really something hard to wrap my head around at least. I don't know. Maybe everybody else is like, oh, I get it. But like, I'm kind of like, oh, you know. But in the long and the short of it, um, given that you know, the science says, hey, you exist as energy and your energetic motions change the energetic field of the universe around you. Um, and for anybody who doesn't understand that, like, they, they connect all these theories through something they call electromagnetism, um, which is essentially just... <clears throat> I, I'm going to try to give my most deep, basic uh, understanding of it, um, which is just that it's really just atoms trading electrons. And, you know, when we all know when atoms trade electrons, they change 
the structure of the atom and can make new elements. And so because of this, this energy that exists, you know, here in my skin, in my body, um, you know, is there, it's made of atoms, you know, just like everything else. It's made of energy, just like everything else. And my interaction with, you know, this place, my phone here recording this video is me, you know, changing my energy that I'm putting out into the universe. So I'm hoping that, you know, a lot of you guys will see this and you start to wonder, you know, hey, how can I affect this reality around me too? Um, and, you know, when you, when, circling back to the CIA documents, they, they kind of study up a lot on this topic in and of itself. And they, they come to the conclusion that you, the, your energy, the same energy that makes up your own thoughts, generates your reality around you because you see what you expect to see. And sure, you know, not you, nobody can predict every single thing that happens. That would be insane and really scary and probably a little boring. Um, but I mean, most of the time you can take a pretty good guess what your next, what the rest of your day is going to look like at least. Sure. Crazy things happen here or there, but <clears throat> I mean, I mean, I'm either going to go to work or I'm going to be here, dude. Like I'm not doing anything special. I'm shooting this video, like, so I can talk to you guys and hopefully make you realize like we control the universe around us. And my next claim is going to be the most frightening one. Because we control that same universe around us, um, and looking into the CIA's documents, looking into the science behind quantum physics, and combining those things and trying to understand, you know, hey, what does this mean about the reality around me? Um, well, it kind of says that we live in a society controlled by aliens that more than likely have a goal of not treating us so well i mean sure like you know you can't can't judge every book by its cover maybe there's some good guys out there but i'm sure a good amount of you guys have heard of pizzagate and <clears throat> i know no if you know anything about the epstein story you know that guy didn't kill himself and I know that's that, that seems like a tangent there, and it, it's really hard for me to connect it, really. But just read the news. Look, look at your reality. Go on Google. Go on your phone. Look up. Hey, what is the upside story? What happened to this guy? You know, he was on trial. You know, he was supposed to be going to jail. Next thing you know, he's hanging in a cell with the security camera busted uh, and choke marks around his throat, but he killed himself. Um, if I'm in prison and I'm like, I'm going to off myself, what the, what am I going to kill myself with? I'm going to hang myself from the, from the bars. I'm going to, I'm going to, from the non-existent door handle, from the bed rack. Oh wait, it's stone on the floor. <laughs> like, plus what am I going to do? Like strip all my clothes off and use that? No. Like the guy, Jeffrey Epstein, he offered a hundred million dollars in bail money before he died. You can fact check this. Like everything I've said, you can look up and explore and research yourself and you will see, hey, sure. Oh, maybe it's all a conspiracy. But I just want you to contemplate, you know, just, just for a few seconds. What if it's not such a conspiracy? You know, what if it's not just Oh, those are just some weird coincidences. You know what they call coincidences in quantum physics, which is still science? They call it pseudoscience, but I don't see how it's pseudo when it's just a study of atom reality and atoms at its smallest level. They they essentially say that yeah, I mean It's all just, it's all connected. It's all connected. It would, if, if it wasn't connected, it wouldn't exist. And sure, like I said, you know, they say, hey, maybe this is conspiracy, but if there's even a 1% chance that it's not, and that 1% turns out to be true, 
a lot of what is happening in the world right now with like COVID and the lockdowns and the shutdowns and Epstein magically dying in a guarded cell with camera footage missing and you know how we even ended up with the two presidential presidential choices we did this year i mean i'm gonna be honest with you personally personally i think they're both pretty pretty garbage options um and like that's not me trying to take a side or be like oh this guy's better than the other i'm just saying to me, it's pretty clear that, like, people who are in charge right now, do they care about me? I mean, if you want to know what I think about they care about me, the government itself has owed me money for over a year now, and I haven't seen a cent of it. So, like, that that goes, just, that, that tells me, hey, they don't, they don't care about me at all. <laughs> so, um, here I am, uh, ousting them, because I'm a little pissed. But also because, you know, I'm just curious about the universe and the world I live in and how it affects me and the rest of you guys. And um, going forward in the later episodes, I'm going to delve more into uh, some of the research I've seen done on, you know, using, you know, these things I've suggested like quantum physics to kind of manipulate the reality around me. And I mean, even if you look around me now, like you can kind of see like, hey... You know, like, I live in a house, you know, shooting off my phone. Like, I will tell you, like, straight up, like, I would not be able to do any of these things. Like, if I did not kind, kind of understand, you know, that, hey, I generate my own reality around me. And a lot of people say, oh, chalk it up to hard work. But it, it was more than hard work. Like, I'll tell you that. It was changing a whole mindset and realizing, hey, you know, I need to kind of wrap my head around what's going on and what I'm doing to affect what's going on. And I've, I've gotten at least this successful, and I mean, it's not to stop my climb by any means, um, but on my way up the rest of the way, I, I had to share with you guys. Um, so hopefully, you know, you guys, I know I laid a lot of information on you right now, but hopefully you guys kind of see this and you're like, hey, you know, it's bringing up some interesting points, you know, maybe some of this stuff is worth looking into because, I mean, seriously, guys, like, look, look this stuff up, like, you will find things that will definitely concern you. You will find things that you're like, oh, that kind of makes sense if these things are already connected. You'll, you'll find stuff where you're like, what the hell's going on here, essentially. Um, so... Sorry about it. Thanks again um, for listening, you guys. You know, hopefully I will see you guys again in later episodes and be able to tell you a lot more. Uh, I'm looking forward to giving you guys more information. You know, the more I find out, the more I'll share with you guys, uh, the more I learn. You know, the more fact-checking I can do, the better, the more solid, hard evidence I can give you guys, the better. That is what I want to do. Be like, hey, here's what's going on. Here's the science. Here's, you know, the events that are occurring that are based in science that, you know, can show you, hey, here's what's really going on. And thanks again, you know, keep watching, hopefully. Again, this is David Preston, and I'm signing off.